talking about parasites may not be your favorite subject matter, but here are definitely three parasites that you don't want to have. The good news is I'm going to share some parasite cleanse detox tips so that you know how to get rid of them on your own and in a safe and effective way. Okay, so let's start with the first one. This is, and if you're squeamish, don't go anywhere. It's really important that you learn about these worms and how these intestinal worms can really be plaguing your health. So this is the tapeworm. And these guys can grow up to six meters in length. So 20 to 50 feet long. They mature in just three to four months in the digestive tract and they can survive, get this, for 25 years or more. Now, if you take a look at that head of the tapeworm, it is like a little suction cup and this head can attach itself to your intestinal wall that new worm can grow and each worm can have up to 3,000 different little segments and each segment can lay thousands of eggs so the reason why it's called a tapeworm if you look at it it is quite thin in its skeleton here and that's why it looks like a piece of tape that's why it's called a tapeworm now the tapeworm is notorious for robbing you of your b12 levels so this is something that i've always cautioned my patients against is to make sure that yes if maybe you have a low b12 and that's what the blood work is showing but why is the b12 low and this is one of the reasons why investigating further about having parasites namely the tapeworm is is very important. The next bug parasite that we're talking about is the protozoa. Giardia is one of the most commonly found types of protozoa and here in Canada hikers in the Banff National Park discovered about this particular bug. Unfortunately they drank the stream water and developed a very high fever and other complaints as related to this type of protozoa, the Giardia parasite, and it was named beaver fever. So we don't want to be of course picking up any type of parasite but this one is very common in developed nations. What's interesting is that this type of parasite can survive chlorination. So even our modern drinking water and treatment of of our water. Unfortunately, this type of protozoa can still prevail. Back in 2013, there was a study done on pre-washed lettuce. And in that study, they were looking at the contamination levels with this type of protozoa. And they found that one in 10 lettuces that they were evaluating were actually contaminated with the protozoa. Now, it's interesting to note that in that study, they found that in the US, they had the highest amount of contamination with this parasite. Site. Canada was not so bad so the numbers were 46 in USA Canada had three and Mexico had zero in terms of that study so it's interesting because often we would think of you know parasites from different parts of the world and in this one study it was found that the USA had the most amount of parasites in 2016 cyclospora was also in the news because contaminated foods and very healthy foods things like salad mixes basil or basil, cilantro, raspberries, blackberries, snow peas, and snap peas were all found to be contaminated with the cyclospora. So again, as much as we think we're eating a healthy diet and raw foods and our salads and things, we have to be wary of the fact that they may contain these parasites and more importantly, what we can do about them. So I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. Now let's talk about candida. Candida is a very common organism, and we all have a little bit of candida, that's normal. However, when it starts to overgrow and turns into a more fungal form and is now invading our intestines, our bloodstream, as well as unfortunately forming a biofilm, this can be really dangerous for our health. Some of the symptoms of having candida include chronic fatigue, being tired all the time, we crave sugar all the time perhaps when you've got a lot of candida, you may crave alcohol, you could have a lot of gas and bloating and digestive discomfort, you may have a white coating on your tongue is often a telltale sign of having candida, chronic sinus infections and ear infections, yeast infections as well, urinary tract infections that often come back and you don't really get resolve of the urinary tract infections, allergies, bad breath, it could be weight gain because of the candida because your metabolism is going to be compromised now when your digestive tract 
is not working the way that it should. You could have itching in the ears and a lot of joint pain. So these are some of the things that when we talk about having candida, candida gives off over 60 different toxins in our body and that's why making sure that we are staying on top of our detox protocols is really really important when we've got that candida because again all of those symptoms can manifest in different parts of the body it could be skin rashes as well like I said a lot of GI complaints so that gas and bloating and of course those chronic infections so when we think about candida candida will grow in a dark moist place it's a fungus so whether that's in the ear canals that can be in the sinus areas as well really important that we are often and regularly doing a candida slash parasite type of cleanse and a detox to get those toxins out of our body what are we going to do about these parasites here are my best tips so first of all we want to consider taking some digestive enzymes and specific ones that will help to break down that outer wall of the candida so that the specific herbal medicines that are used to kill those parasites and the candida can get in and do their job that much more effectively i always recommend doing a full body detox to deal with those toxins remember the candida gives off 60 or more toxins really important to get those toxins out of the body and of course those internal organs and taking a high quality probiotic that is designed for healthy digestion and bypasses that stomach acid is really important as well some of my favorite herbal medicines to help to kill off candida and parasites include artemisia annua black walnut oregano and cloves cloves are great because they also kill the eggs of those intestinal worms and the parasites sites as well. But for more information on those herbal medicines for a parasite cleanse and detox, check out my video, The Best Herbs for Parasites. I'll see you there.